Hi, so I'm just going to show you how to walk through just how to set things up um, using design software, for example, we're using Inkscape uh, in with SignCut, or this will work sort of um, with Inkscape so you can use it in like other um, cutting software such as like Flexi Starter, things like that, um, because it's just like the same sort of uh, process for getting it all set up. So to start off with, say for example, we want to go on like Google Images, for example I've already like Google like butterfly wing stencil, things like that. So take the image, so like right click, copy it, and then if you download Inkscape because it's free uh, design software, so it's, so it's pretty good actually just for, for what it is. Um, copy and paste it in, so here we go. And first thing you want to do, uh, you don't have to worry about sort of scaling it down or anything like that. So if we go to path and then trace bitmap, and then you want to click the remove background sign. Yeah, this might be unselected on yours. So you click OK, and then you can pull off. So this is one that we've just created here. And you can get rid of the previous one. So now you've just got this outline for it. Perfect. And now if you go to path and object to path okay and then now what you can do you can save it as Inkscape SVG as you can see I've already got butterfly saved there so save it as that if you do have the plugin for sign cut um, you can also do sort of uh, center sign cut in here um, let me just find where it is there we go, center sign cut in export. So if we go, but just to say, for example, if you don't have that, then we'll open it to sign cut now. Click file, open. And just find it on the desktop. I think that's all we got. There we go. Yeah, so then we can open it. Right. So the cutter today, we're just using the CTO 6 day. Uh, just uh, I'm just going to double check, make sure that we've got that set up. For CTO 6 day, always best to remember is day 8 400. Okay, so yeah, we've got it all nice, nice and set up in in sign cut. Uh, now. Probably, Over. All right. I'll just close that. Okay. So hopefully that's all okay for you. So first thing you want to do: press online on your CTO. So we want to sort of start off. Um, remember, it will always cut sort of behind and to the left of where you set. So imagine sort of a square behind here, like that. So it won't cut over on this side. Okay, looks fine.
Okay. So that's finished. If you do find that it's kind of hard to weed in some places, you may need to just up the pressure just slightly uh, just to make it a bit easier to weed without. So it looks like it's done. It's okay. You've got not the nice air in there. Obviously, you can see the outline there. And obviously, if I wanted to, we could go through all of these little, little sections that we have on the stencil. Um, so, let's just say I want to do, this one for example, so you can see that nicely cut out there. Okay. Right. I'll just move it back over to the PC. But as you can see, that's pretty much how you get, get a, a stencil just um, all set up within within sign cut. Or not, not it doesn't have to be a stencil, like sort of any sort of design or logo. Um, and that's just using sort of basic design software, really, that you can just get for free. We also work with like Illustrator and Coral Draw, which are some of the most popular ones. Um, one thing you might want to do, because I did that obviously quite a large design, um, you have your unit of measurement over here, just underneath like the bird's eye view of the cut, so you can change it from inches, millimetres, centimetres, and then you can change it so for the y axis and the x axis. So the y width of the cut, so say I want it to be 20 centimetres, and it automatically changes the x. If you don't want that to happen, so you want it to be a specific sort of size, um, just click on proportional, uh, which I already had on, and you can see. So, click proportional, you can see it automatically sort of ch change that first time. Right. Um, if you're also interested in cutting text in sign cut, just click this T. Uh, we've already you can see we've got signs well already written out. So, just select the text that you want. And obviously you've got like all these different different ones that you can choose from. Of course you have got one that's sort of it's a more fancy style of writing. So say for example we choose that. That should that would um, cut out okay, but you might find it can be probably a bit tricky around these sort of areas, like here, you can see my cursor, sort of round on the edges. Especially if you've got quite a small design, for example. If the cutting is quite large, you probably wouldn't have any trouble. But if you've got it quite small, so if perhaps if you're only cutting it sort of like, like the majority of that's just only five centimetres, then you might have, you would probably have a, quite a difficulty just sort of weeding it out. But, um, but I think you would be able to send it a fine, and, it would, and the cutter would be more than capable of doing it. But yeah, that's pretty much um, everything, sort of like with working through, just sort of getting some basic design sort of setup um, within SignCut with Inkscape. Okay, thanks very much. Cheers.